Hey, what's up? It's Bill, Seeds and Nature Water Gardens, and in today's video, I am going to be reviewing a video I actually found on YouTube. So, the premise of this video is that these homeowners hired a contractor to come fix their pond and waterfall. It was leaking, and so they paid this contractor $3,000 to replace the liner, rebuild, waterfall, um, basically get their pond up and running. I just wanted to make a quick video of uh, our waterfall liner install job before I tear it all apart. Um, we had a contractor come in and, and do this job and we've been losing a tremendous amount of water and basically blaming it on everything from evaporation to our faulty equipment like our faceplate liner on our skimmer box which is not the case. It actually ended up being a a botched job with a bunch of double-sided tape and a, a sliced up liner that wasn't installed properly that caused that to leak and now what I'm finding is a bunch more. Alright so already looking at this video you know he said that the contractor was blaming the equipment. I will never install or try to fix faulty equipment. If, if there is faulty equipment on site for example an old skimmer I'm going to recommend we replace it, put it in new equipment because I'm not going to be responsible. And any per, any contractor, you know, worth their salt is going to say that they cannot just fix old stuff. That it has to be replaced. And looking at this waterfall, you can see, you know, there's exposed liner already. It's standing up. It's it's already it's already not looking good. Leaks in the water install job. So you can see here. This is all extremely wet, water coming down from here. And this is also how this was left with the, the liner edge just exposed all over here. Um, so that's really not the, bad, the worst of them, but I pulled this, some of these rocks out here. And I'm going to fast forward through some of this. Down. On the other side, I found the the big major leak. You can see this is kind of how this is left with that that liner there. I, I moved some of those rocks so that up there was Yeah, you never want to put liner pinched in between rocks, right? Rocks are hard and liner, it's strong, it can withstand a, a beating, but generally when you have two rocks pushing on the liner, you're gonna cause holes, you're gonna cause tears. So you always want your liner to be up against dirt, soil, sand, whatever, so that you know there is no friction gonna create holes, puncture wounds, or anything like that. I know that we're losing a, a tremendous amount of water. So that's just uh, running over. So over a 24 hour period, how much is that? And so you can see that the contractor tried to seam these pieces of liner. And looking at this liner, it looks it looks like some kind of polyurethane liner. It's not a 45 EPDM. And whenever you are trying to overlap, you need about six inches minimum vertical spacing. Meaning that if you have one liner up here, you need to have the upper liner six inches over top because water can wick up and you want to make sure that water is, you know, always going downhill. You're using gravity to essentially kind of weld the liners together. But he used tape or some kind of glue, which just doesn't look right. So let's go to the next portion of, uh, he has multiple videos. So this is, um, I thought that I had got all of the leaks on video, but this has just got to be the... Yeah, here you can see, again, so the water is going... The, the, the liners are not overlapped correctly to begin with, and then he tried to weld them together with some kind of glue, and it's just, you never, it's never gonna work. The best one of them all. There's the okay, I'm gonna go to the next part of the video. <laughs> and already looking at this, I can see this old skimmer. Who knows how old it is? So this video is in 2017, 2018 unlevel um, and the faceplate was was leaking really bad and there was about two two layers of this weird tape that that he used on the faceplate 
And uh, then also the old underlayment. So you said it was an inch on level, meaning that the, the skimmer is not set correctly. The skimmer needs to be completely level because when the pump is sitting on the skimmer, it's going to cause reverberations. And any water in that level is going to is going to cause it to shift and unbalance, and over time it can dig into the soil. It needs to be completely level. The old liner, and then all of this new underlayment and liner, extra liner was just stuffed under the box. So I'm guessing that's probably a reason why the box would sink in, in the front because there was no solid ground under it. So um, and then he really really butchered the new liner um, you can see the the hole for the skimmer at the corners it's not supposed to be cut until after you put it in and uh, yeah when you when you're setting these skimmers it has to be completely level there has to be plenty of dirt and it has to be compacted so that you know you're not gonna have any shifting because once you put your your faceplate on typically I, I use silicone once you put your faceplate on, if there's not enough, if there's too much tension, what can happen is the bolts can tear away the liner, and then it can cause it to leak. So you bolt the faceplate on, and then you cut that, cut just cut the hole out, and then at both the bottom corners, as you can see that they were cut out. And then for some reason, he also couldn't do it. I'm gonna go to the next video. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with this skimmer. Um, this was the install that was done, the brand new liner. I have these four bolts lined up here now, and, and it's just not right. And you can see he cut these slits. I don't know why, 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 why he would have done that, but cut these slits here. Obviously because it didn't line up right. And I uh, did that at both bottom corners, which is just destroyed now. I don't know. I don't know what to do. So, and I'm thinking about trying to put it up, pull it up. I have quite a bit of extra, but it won't go all the way up. But so um, this is a prime example. Don't use old stuff. It, if you you have an issue and it's an old piece of equipment, you just you just need to replace it. <laughs> and definitely hire someone that knows what they're doing. I mean, there's a reason why a lot of contractors don't even install skimmers on ponds because, you know, it takes a certain expertise. It's it's pretty easy for me, but I've, I've been doing it for years. And I would never, ever do this. You need a faceplate, you need a silicone, and you cannot chop up that liner because any of those slits, again, any tension pulling on that, those slits are just going to tear and tear and causing, causing more issue. Or plants can get behind their plants. Uh, we'll we'll grow behind there and grow through the silicone So just wanted to show this probably wasn't going to hold up very long um, I don't know what was used to glue this but here's the seams Oops, that's probably not gonna work out very well Just it's just a freaking disaster man God yeah, I mean, this is do your homework. Make sure that you're hiring someone that knows what they're doing because it costs twice as much to fix another person's screw up. And I hope that this video shows you that, you know, you have to do your homework. Make sure that if you're hiring, hiring a contractor, look at their work. Make sure that their work looks like something that you want in your yard. And also make sure that, you know, they have good reviews. They understand basics of pond ecology. They understand how to put skimmer plates on. They understand how to actually build a pond. This is, you know, it costs twice as much to redo another person's mistake. This is, I would say majority of my work is tearing out other people's screw ups or DIY stuff and having to rebuild it. And it, and it costs more to do that because it's more labor. So I hope this was educational. I don't want to, you know, put this guy out there on blast. You know, he had a hard enough experience, but you know, don't go with the cheapest bid because obviously it's even more of a headache. All right, that's it. Peace.